In 2018, the Association of Wireless Networking Whizbangs, or IEEE, decided to make the leap from the alphabet soup of wireless protocols to an easier to remember system of numbers. So now 802.11G is known as Wi-Fi 3, 802.11N is Wi-Fi 4, AC is Wi-Fi 5, and AX is Wi-Fi 6. Yes, there was actually a Wi-Fi 1 and a Wi-Fi 2, but their speeds were so slow and the range was so horrible, it's barely worth mentioning them anymore. Wireless G, or Wi-Fi 3, was just good enough for people to take notice of Wi-Fi, but not good enough to meet the demand once wireless networking became more popular and they started creating more wireless devices. Well, looking at this chart, it's easy to think that Wi-Fi 6 is actually three times faster than Wi-Fi 5. But actually, a single stream of Wi-Fi 6 is actually only about 40% faster than Wi-Fi 5. So how did we get to this? Okay, well, for example, back in the days of Wi-Fi 3, you were only looking at a single stream. As time went on, they started adding bands and streams to Wi-Fi routers to the point where these numbers got almost ridiculous. So how do we end up with all these crazy letters and numbers? In order to understand that, you need to understand something you probably haven't heard a lot about, which is spatial streams. A spatial stream is simply a connection that sends and receives data to your wireless router and any wireless device. So as an example, Wi-Fi 3, back in the day of wireless G, had only one spatial stream to share with all its devices. Wi-Fi 4 entered the picture with as much as three spatial streams. Wi-Fi 5 or AC could support as many as four spatial streams. These days we have wireless AX or wireless 6 and it can support as many as eight streams and if the wireless router is configured with three bands, you're looking at a potential 12 streams. 